Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. Today I've got my weekly Woolworths shopping haul to share with you. Uh, it's for our family of three, my husband, myself and our 13 year old son. We also have two German Shepherd dogs. So this is uh, pretty much a standard week for us. I've got some extra things to pop in the cupboard that were on special and then a few things to get through the week. So let's get started. Uh, the broccoli was on special and still really nice this week. So I got a big piece of that that uh, only does us for a couple of meals. So that was $1.80, it was $4.50 a kilo. So that was uh, quite a good deal. Now I went into the bakery, they didn't have a lot of bread today, but they did have these little rolls. Now these are Panay de Casa, they're light rye rolls. There's a four pack in there, and I thought they would be um, great to toast or um, sort of even to cut lengthways and have with our tomato and things. So they were $1.54 um, for four of those. So yeah, we've got those for our bread this week. Now the dog rolls, there was actually lots on the shelf. So dog rolls today, I only got two because I've actually still got some. So they were just the Baxter's three kilo dog rolls. They are $6.50 each. So yeah, got the two, but there was about four or five different sorts on the shelf today. And it uh, was late Saturday when I shopped. So I was still very, very happy with that. Our usual Harvey Fresh Harlo Milk. So that is uh, $5.10 for the two litres, which is our staple. So for kale cereal for breakfast and also just coffees. And I'm um, thinking I might do like a cheese sauce and veggie bake or something this week. We have got a Yolk Play yogurt, the one kilo. This is the strawberry one. It wasn't on special, but they're always a good buy. So that was $4.50. And then the chips, I just got the super fried steak cup today. They're $4.50. These just aren't on special anymore, but I'm just getting some sort of every couple of weeks just to, so we've got a stash back in the freezer again for when we need them. Now the mints, uh, they did have a cheaper mints today. So there was $4.20 instead of $7. Um, looking at probably doing a savoury mince tonight with little shell noodles, um, can't think what the packet's called it's like a beef flavor and you can add different flavorings and, and veggies and things to it as well so thinking you're doing that tonight so that was four dollars twenty for that one now my husband's little pizzas the mccain ones these are the ones that he likes the ham and cheese they haven't had them on the shelf for ages we managed to find them last week and the freezer had a bit more in it this week so they're on special for six dollars so grab one of those and then the little clearance items, the yogurt. This is a banana and honey. It was 85 cents, so Kale grabbed that one. And then I've got some thickened cream. So I've got some apples that need using, and we'll probably do a like a healthy apple crumble tomorrow while I'm home. Uh, I didn't get to the markets this week. I had to go into work, so tomorrow will be a home day for me. So um, we'll probably do that. And I'm thinking we're going to have a beef roast for tea because I've got one in the freezer. So beef roast and then a healthy apple crumble and then we've got that for the week as well. So I've got one of those creams. And then the Paul's Custard, this was a, another little clearance one for kale. This is the Chupa Chups Strawberry Cream Custard. So that was $1.20. And then the Gippsland Yogurt, I couldn't remember what flavour my husband got last week. So I looked at this one and that was a mixed berry twist. I don't think that was the same one. I'll try and get a different flavour every week if I can. So that was $6. And then shaved parmesan because what I tend to do with the beef that's left over from our roast, uh, diced it up into almost sort of diced veggie, you know, like peas, corn and carrot, almost that size, maybe a tiny bit bigger. Uh, cook it up with a can or a jar of pasta sauce and some seasonings. Throw in a packet of penne pasta, which you'll see I've bought there. Um, and actually beef stock and the noodles actually cook in the beef stock with the diced roast after you've kind of fried it off a little bit. And it's really, really tasty and it's a really good way to use up leftover beef. Um, that like normally if you have to like do a shepherd's pie or something like that um, this roast doesn't have a lot left so I'm thinking the pasta dish which will get us through a couple more nights maybe Monday Tuesday night so I definitely grab some more parmesan cheese that's the Woolworths Australian parmesan cheese at $6 for 250 grams but it is the better value one 
and then because we were out of cheese pretty much all our cheese so the tasty shredded cheese this is just the hillview one so that one will go in that pasta dish but it's also great if we're doing cheese sauce and things as well which i said i might do so that was five dollars fifty and then um the other meat was i try and get chicken leg if i can because i find it's actually like chicken thighs because i find it's better than the chicken breast you, it's got a little bit more flavor to it but also a little bit more moist and they didn't have any today but they had this diced leg fillet so 500 grams was five dollars 85 but that we is pretty much the same kind of meat so i grabbed that one so that might do a, a stir fry with some veggies or something like that later in the week um mount barker chicken then we have some beef sausages i just got one packet today so that has a, oh goodness i nearly dropped it i've just caught it now they're all rattled around in the packet so um they weren't like that when i bought them that's just because i've nearly dropped them uh 16 beef chipolatas five dollars sixty so i just grabbed those so we, we can cook those up maybe with an onion gravy and mashed potato as well and being little ones it's no different whether they're little ones or big ones last week kale got one of these aeroplane raspberry jelly flavored milks loved it it was four dollars their normal shelf price is going to be four dollars fifty so i told him that um he could have another one this week if he wanted i tried it i don't like it i would not be able to drink a full one it's very very sweet uh, but similar to raspberry jelly i suppose it's got like lots of sugar in it so it does taste very very sweet um i thought it might be a bit more like brown strawberry milk but it's way sweeter than that so uh, but he's got one of them he can't drink it all in a sitting so it usually takes him a few days to get through it so i guess it's not quite so bad uh, butter needed another one this week uh, just to replenish the stock uh, half a kilo is six dollars forty just crazy some of the things and how much they've gone up but we just needed it the colby slices i've still got some ham left i didn't open the ham that i got last week so we've still got that one it was eight dollars sixty for the 500 grams and it's got the two share packs there weren't many to choose from so luckily this one was on the shelf because this is his preferred one and then we've got the australian light cheese so this one oh now i think i've switch them around uh, i think i might have read you out the other shredded cheese so um eight dollars fifty was actually for the hillview shredded cheese so uh maybe i've got them mixed up but this was the other australian light toasty cheese this one you get heaps of cheese pull on it so it's really really good kale loves it so um yep we've got that one and then the baking paper i needed some more i've got glad bake in the cupboard but it was like a really big big roll and i've had it for a long time and there's only a little bit left so this one was on special when it's the compostable brown paper 15 meters so i thought we'll try that one and see how it goes it was three dollars 75 but i use it um pretty much if i'm baking anything in the oven in the air fryer and also i've got a couple of fry pans that are a bit dicey they were non-stick and they're not quite so much anymore um so i will sometimes use this in the fry pan as well so that's that one and then um i did get a air freshener this is just a cheap one just for the second bathroom it's uh zen zone cotton flower air freshener so i haven't seen it before but it's got the odor neutralizer um and it was only two dollars thirty so i thought well we'll try that that can go down in that bathroom uh, deodorant this is the norska baby powder this one uh, was actually on special from seven dollars twenty or something to a dollar ninety so i thought i would try that and just see how it goes um, maybe it was just a clearance item so they might not have it there again but i thought oh, we'll try it and i needed to get um a chamois to pop in the car when i go to the car wash uh, we don't live that far from the car wash so I usually dry the car off when I get home but I thought if I pop this in the glove box then I can um, just pull out of the car wash give it a quick wipe over before I come home this was marked down to $15.40 I think to $5 so I thought it was worth popping in because it's one of the armor all ones so it is one of the good brand so I grabbed that one um, Kale needed some more shower gel and he likes this palm olive sea minerals one 
So we got the big one litre of the body wash. They were on special for $7, which was actually cheaper than the smaller bottles today. So we've grabbed that one for him. And then um, the Rexona deodorants were half price and I couldn't remember whether we got one or two last week. So I just grabbed one for my husband's cupboard. Uh, that's the 72 hour sport Rexona's. That was half price, so they were $4.25. And then the Omo capsules, these were half price as well today. So I just got the refill pouch. There's 28 in there and they were $13. So I can just pop one of them, uh, pop them in the container I already have and that'll keep us going for a while. Um, Coco Pops was Kale's cereal of choice today. They didn't have lots on the shelf for him to pick from. And some of the other ones, I know that he wouldn't get through the box. So six dollars for that one he's still got some cheerios and stuff left from last week so we'll be fine that will get us through now the inner biscuits i haven't had these ones before but i'm looking for something that's a bit savory that i can take to work um just instead of having a protein bar all the time or something sweet with a coffee um sometimes just looking for something savory so I grabbed these, they were $1.75 a packet. They're the smoky meat lovers flavour, but I thought I could just put some in a little like clip seal bag or a little container and just pop them in my lunch bag. Um, so I've got that one. Uh, now, I've just read out the wrong one. So the Cocoa Pops, the big ones at the back, were $7, but he's actually got the white Cocoa Pops LCM bars this week. They were $6. So these were $6, and the big Cocoa Pops, which was a 680 gram, was $7. Sorry, I'm um, all over the place today, aren't I? Righto, so the Smith's chips, these were two for $7. So Kale has picked the salt and vinegar and the Smith's less sodium thinly cut so two for seven dollars there then we have uh his chocolate so now willie's is getting very sneaky normally i let kale have um when it's on special a block of caramel chocolate and sometimes you can get them you know they're two for eight or two for nine or whatever they are well today they were three for twelve i was not buying three blocks of chocolate so i told him he couldn't have that one so he picked the Daryl Lee's Cookies and Cream White Chocolate and it's actually got little mini marshmallows in it. And when I first got them, because you can actually feel the marshmallows on the back, um, but it's really, really tasty. And that was $2.75. So I told him he could have that one. We actually liked that too, so we might share that with him as well. And then his other lunchbox selection this week was the Sunbeam Yogurt Coated Sultanas. There's six little individual box in there, so he can pop them in his lunch box. They were four dollars, so yes, yeah, so he's got those. And this was my other savoury selection for my lunch box this week: is the Tocchetti, the multi-grain sourdough um, ones. These are really good. I, I do like these. Um, I've tried a couple of the other flavours, and I've noticed that the other flavours are disappearing off the shelf, but these ones are still there, and I'm quite like that because two or three days it takes me to get through one of these, and they're only two dollars. So I thought that was good. Then this was Kale's choice. We were in the like the Asian section and he saw these. Now this is a Mogu Mogu. It's strawberry juice with nata de coco, which is actually like coconut. You can I'm not sure whether you can see it. If I turn it around you might be able to. Actually it looks like it's got little lump there there you go. It looks like it's got little lumps of fresh coconut in there as well. So I'm guessing it's coconut water with the strawberry juice in there and I don't mind coconut water. I quite like it. Um, it doesn't have a lot of flavour, so I'm not sure how he'll go with this one. But I reckon if he doesn't like it, he can try a little bit. If he doesn't like it, I reckon I'll probably finish it off. Coconut water is actually quite good for you. Uh, it just depends how much sugar it's got in it. So that was $1.75. So he's got that one. And then the Easy Mac macaroni cheese this is just the microwave one with the four little packets that's great for kale to do on his own and hubby doesn't mind that either for a quick um snack or a quick meal so that was four dollars seventy so i got one of those apple sauce because we had pork the other day and we used the last of the apple sauce so that's just the Woolworths one it's 370 grams it's a dollar 80 so that's just a staple that we popped back in the pantry um now i've got the sweats tonic water the four little glass bottles today 
Uh, I got those because I haven't got any like small tonic in case I just wanted to have like one drink. So that was $3.70 for those. So I just got those today. So I'll probably put a couple in the fridge and save a couple out. Um, and then this is my the sweet option if I need a sweet option at work this week. It's a low carb whipped mint chocolate. So they're a low carb protein bar. There's four in there. They're only tiny. They're only about that big. But instead of being about $10 a box, they're only $4. So um, it's quite, I just have a little container in my lunch box that I put them in and I can have one of those with a cuppa and like I don't need to have lunch. So it just depends on what time of the day I'm eating or what I need. But I will sometimes have one of these with a cuppa because then it gets me through if, if things are busy and then I can eat like my ham and salad or whatever a little bit later in the day. So that's what we got. Now this is the Essentials Penne. This is the Australian pasta, the 500 grams. This is 90 cents a bag. And this is what I'll chuck in the wok with leftover roast beef and pasta sauce and cheese and things for that meal after we've had our roast. And in the pasta aisle, these were on special. And Kayla's been having macaroni cheese in the microwave. Well, this is ready pasta. So... This is macaroni that's already cooked that you just pop in the microwave. So it's similar to the rice um, packets that we've used. And I've actually got one there as well because that was on special too. And I thought that he might want to try that. And when he saw it, he was very keen. It's $1.60 a packet. So he can warm that up in the microwave himself. Add his tomato sauce and cheese that we normally do without needing to boil water and wait for that to, to do and all that kind of stuff. So it might be a like an easy tea on his way to scouts because I'll sometimes not get home till five o'clock and uh, by quarter past six we've got to be out the door on our way to scouts so he will have a quick tea while he's getting changed and, and things like that so that might be an option uh, we'll just sort of see how we go um, but I told him he could only have one they had spirals as well and they have penne, I think, too. And he wanted the spirals, too. But I said, just have one packet to try it. And then if he likes it, he can get one of each next week. And the basmati rice, that was actually $1.50. And these are really good to have in the pantry as a, an emergency supply. You can have it with um, you know, any leftover meals that you've got to make things go a little bit further. Or if you haven't got enough rice. So it's actually a good one just to pop in the pantry as a, as a backup. Um, we're in the dried fruit aisle and I saw these, these are frisp, they're actually obviously a fruit crisp, but they're strawberry crisps. Um, it says 100% pure goodness, only 55 calories a serve, our strawberry chips are tantalising light with a crispy texture, so I wonder, not so much freeze dried, but they're really, really light, so um, Kale wanted to try these, so for $2.50 I thought well, we can try a packet. They had mango and pineapple, I think, maybe, or something else. So if he likes them, that might be another option that he can actually pop in his lunchbox. So we'll try them and see how we go. Um, the microwave popcorn, they had this one. This is the triple butter flavour. They were on special for only a dollar a packet. So that's a great thing to have in the cupboard. If you're watching a movie, you can whip out some popcorn and do that. Um, and then it's sort of like... Quick and easy. So we got one of those. The Nutella biscuits, they were on special today as well. They were $4.20 for a 14 pack, it says. So I'm guessing there's 14 in there. They must be quite small, but um, Nutella is very rich, so it wouldn't surprise me. So we did get those. So they were $4.20. And then Curly Wellies got them last week. I'll tell you, I walked past them again today. They were still $2 packet. And so I grabbed them because it is probably one of my biggest weaknesses with chocolate. I love it. It's a chewy caramel and it's really, really delicious. So I got myself some of those. Um, a jar of the free from tomato pesto, which is what I do our cheesy spaghetti with. So a jar of this with um, some boiled spaghetti and cheese is pretty much an instant dinner. So this is $4.75. So I just grabbed that for the pantry. I've been having olives with my ham and salad during the week, so I needed to get some more Kalamata olives. I've just got the Woolworths ones. These are the pitted ones. It was $3 a jar, so I just grabbed one of those because I'll probably need some more before the week's out. Now, Kale's vitamin C. He likes these Nature's Way Vita gummies. 
the vitamin C, they were half price today. So he has still got some in the cupboard, but I don't know how much longer they'll last. So we grabbed one of those, they're half price at $11.50. But while I was there, I also noticed um, the Nature Way Vitagummies Men's. Uh, it's just a multivitamin. So I grabbed these for my husband because he does um, sometimes pinch Kale's vitamin C when he's having them. And I thought these might be a really good multi multivitamin. Um, my husband's doing lots of hours and I just want to support his health if I can. So I thought, well, for half price, we'll try them. If he doesn't like them, then Kale would definitely have them. Uh, but in saying that, um, you can't see the lid's actually already off them. My hubby's tried one, well, tried a few, and he actually said that they um, were okay. So I think that he will have them, but if he doesn't, Kale will definitely share them with him. Right, all right. And then in the pasta aisle, they also have these ones on special, and I love egg tagliatelle. Um, so I grabbed these because that might make another... Probably not a second pasta dish for us this week, but I wondered if I might do um, a carbonara later in the week or next weekend. And this would be really delicious, I think, to put a carbonara sauce on. It was 250 grams and on special for only $2.50. So I thought it was a great thing. We'll probably eat all of that in a meal because there's like six little nests in there. Uh, but I thought that that would be great for maybe a carbonara dish. Okay, and then we get on to some healthier stuff. So let me fucking move down a little bit to see you can see the end. So I can still walk around and have a look. Right, oh, so the continental cucumber. This was uh, just the Woolworths one this week. It was two dollars twenty. The odd bunch ones were okay, but uh, not really as good as these ones. So for the extra twenty five cents, I think they were. We just got one of these. Um, because we're going to have a roast tomorrow, I grabbed a kilo of the sweet potatoes. These are the creamy and smooth gold sweet potato. They were actually only $4.50 a kilo, which I thought was a great price. I do sometimes do sweet potato chips in the air fryer as well that are really tasty and my family enjoy. Just toss them in a little bit of oil with some seasoned salt and pepper and, and you're good to go. They're really nice. They don't go crispy, crispy. But you do get that caramelised bit on the outside that makes them really yummy. So we got those. Um, I got some baby Brussels sprouts this week. So not everybody is a fan of Brussels sprouts. Uh, kale isn't. But with these ones, these were 300 grams for $3.50. I do a really yummy dish with this where you slice these up. And these are only quite small. So I'd probably only cut them into about three. Pan fry them with some bacon and some seasonings and then just stir through a little bit of sour cream and it makes a really yummy side dish to go with pork or steak or even I was thinking maybe those sausages or you know even that chicken I'm not really sure but I just sort of thought that they were looked really nice and that so we would give them a go. Uh, we got some beans there weren't any snow peas this week. So we've got beanets for Kale's lunch, 400 grams. They were $6.90. Tomato, a bunch. We needed some more tomatoes. They've, they've come down a little bit, but not much. So the kilo is $7.90. I tried to get ones that weren't fully ripe, so they'll last us for a little while. And then this is the Korean-style salad kit. So this is my bunch item this week. So for those of you that don't know Bunch, it's a Woolworths um, review program. You actually apply, it can you can get accepted straight away or it can take up to three years to be accepted. And once you are, they'll send you an email and ask you if you're interested in trying something. This is what I got this week. It's a price of $5.50. Um, but what they do is if you say, yes, I'm prepared to try it with my family, you they put it onto your rewards card so when you scan your rewards card and go through the checkout the item of this is credited back to you which makes it free the only thing you need to do is put an honest review on their website we've probably had i know we've had over 50 items because i've uh, got a little notification the other day that i'd submitted 50 reviews and i got a little like medallion on my app um, so I know that we've been trying quite a few things. So uh, this is something I wouldn't have tried otherwise, but I'm prepared to give it a go. It says it's got a tangy kimchi mango dressing and crunchy flat wide noodles. 
you can see the sauce in the bottom here and i think the packet of noodles is in here as well so we'll give that a go um if my family don't like that i might just divide it into two and have it over two nights like as a salad with tea i don't know i'll try it so you don't have to you're not obligated to try things but you can we've had anything from 99 cents packet of tissues i've had a, a packet of four glasses from w um, we've had packets of meat that have been 14 and 16 dollars and all you need to do is just do a review and around about one a week sometimes you might go two or three weeks without some and some weeks you might get two so it's definitely well worth trying if you're um, prepared to try things that are a little bit different then yeah i would definitely give that a go righto so cute so these are for kale's lunch they were four dollars fifty they just seem to be a standard uh, the sugar snap peas these were a much better quality this week um, but they were also a little bit dearer so they were four dollars twenty this week but um yep they'll definitely do us for that kale did ask for some pikelets because there was no um fruit toast today so he's got some pikelets they were three dollars twenty for an eight pack and then we've got some english muffins so english muffins were half price this week so they were three dollars now um we're thinking kale's also decided maybe instead of a sandwich this week in his lunch box we might make some little mini pizzas and send him off for lunch or we'll have them for breakfast tomorrow morning or i could do egg and bacon and cheese muffins or i'm not sure so i've got one packet of those they were three dollars and then lastly kale's first selection i forgot we had these after we got all those other things um a pack of four strawberry donuts for two dollars 47 so that's our whole shopping this week it will definitely get us through and pop some things into the pantry it was a total of 274 dollars 99 our total savings this week including the things on item um on clearance and the specials i bought the savings was 109 dollars today which is right up there with the the top range of the savings that i usually have but it's nice to say that you've you've saved a hundred dollars if you had bought everything at full price so that's what we've got i did earn um over two thousand points for this shop so i've actually got twenty dollars added onto my dollars for christmas i'm now up to 180 dollars to spend at christmas time and that's what i've got to share with you so i hope you've all been having a great week and until next time take care and i will see you in the next one bye